This is James Hurd of Fry Fall TV in association with Matt Jim Marbad. With me, I've got the WBO Intercontinental Champion, Tommy Langford. Uh, first and foremost, congr congratulations on the win, Tom. And how did it feel to headline a Box Nation show? Oh, it was uh, brilliant. You know, like I said before, the, the opportunity to headline the show in my home area and that give my fans the opportunity to come and support me and all turn out and thankfully they did you know and uh, get to put on a show for everybody and really enjoyed it and you know and enjoyed the whole time in there got 10 good rounds out so it's good as you say 10 good rounds under your belt did you feel in control in there and did, did you feel that your shots were getting to him yeah I felt like um, to be honest with you after the first three four rounds I really thought I was going to get him like I could see him wilting a little bit but fair play to him you know he, he, he dug in and when he was throwing his shots, you could hear him really grunting. He was really having to dig in for it. But, you know, he got the 10 rounds out and, you know, he he gave me that workout and it's something I've needed. You know, I needed to do the championship distance and, yeah. and I've done it now and I, I, I st still haven't lost the round. But there's a couple of situations in there I had to, you know, come through in terms of, and it's all learning experiences. So, you know, I'm, I'm, pleased, with, I'm pleased with the performance, obviously. 10 good rounds and I'm pleased with what I've taken out of it and we'll move onwards and up to me. As you say, you're still too yet to lose a round in professional boxing. Um, how did you, did you feel that stuff you'd worked on in your camp sort of transcended well for you in the region? Sorry. Yeah, you know, we, we identified shots very early in the camp that would work mm -hmm. um, in terms of the punches that I knew I'd land with him. And uh, I was getting them off, but and I really thought if I got, got the ones off that I was doing in sparring, I would, I would get him out of there, I would stop him to land some really hurtful punches. But, you know, we... Uh, he, he come through well and obviously it just made me work that more, made me hit him that much more. <laughs> What's next for Tommy Langford? Is there anything pending? Where, where do you, you know, go from uh, here, Tom? No injuries, so I'm, uh, you know, like I said, can move onwards and upwards really. I, I'm looking to sort of keep chipping away and keep chipping away at that WBO ranking, pushing myself further on in that and that's, that's what I want to do. So, you know, hopefully I'll get out again before Christmas. Like I said, no injuries, I'm feeling fit and can can push on and fight again before Christmas, no problem. So that's hopefully what I'll do and then move on from there. What do you think of the middleweight division domestically, Tom? Yeah, it's brilliant. Like I've said all along, you know, it's a very good division. It's red hot. You know, you've got the likes of, uh, you know, Nick Blackwell, very strong, yes. you know, very very tough and obviously he's dangerous throughout the fight. So getting those sort of rounds in, uh, you know, the longer rounds is, is vital for that sort of experience. But um, in terms of the whole middleweight division, I know I can compete with the best up there, and I know I can I can push on and you know push on to, to the world stages in the next year, eighteen months, and that's what we're going to do. Do you see yourself going the more WBO, WBO route in terms of chasing titles instead of the more traditional British route? Well, <laughs> thankfully with the intercontinental belt and everything, and you know the WBO route seems to be falling into place. So I'm going to push on for that. It's the bigger title, it's the bigger you know the, the bigger thing to win. And, obviously the better fight so that's what I'm going to go for but if along the way um, if along the way you know other titles come along I mean, I'm not going to I'm not going to turn, turn them down you know, I'm going to take them Listen congratulations on the great win you said fantastic support here for you I don't know how much of the Box Nation viewers saw of it at home but yeah it was making some noise so yeah, it's yeah. good to see them getting behind their men Yeah now they always turn out and I'm really grateful for it you know wherever I, wherever I fight they're always there and um, you know I've got a lot of fans from obviously North Devon and West Brom and Birmingham all, all coming together and it makes a big difference to you when you're in the ring when you've got that sort of support carrying you through and you know and I'm glad I get to entertain the crowd I believe it before you go do you want to thank your team and your sponsors and anyone else who's helped you for this camp mate yeah just uh, you know obviously the team's great you know Tom Chaney Frank Warren, Frank Warren everyone at Queensbury Jason McCoy but then I'd also like to thank my sponsors um, JS Wright they've just come on board uh, Man Commercial Strategy Plus uh, Ringside UK and um, Atlas Pain Relief so mm. yeah thanks very much good result for Les Byfield as well from Man, uh, man Team Man See him yeah yeah he won yeah yeah he got a good got result win, yeah, that was you good. know glad I managed to turn the uh, turn the luck around for Albion today though they weren't so good down at Palace but there you go never yeah. mind 2-0 down wasn't it <laughs> yeah yeah not good mate not good never mind onwards and upwards yeah. Listen, Tom thank you for giving me some time mate congratulations no again we'll catch you again real soon cheers James cheers, thanks so mate. much cheers mate